guys, today I want to share my drugstore haul with you. I got a few brushes and I love drugstore brushes because they're really affordable. But not only that, but they're I think that they're just as good as the luxury ones. A lot of times I'll get a luxury brush, but once you get some product on it, it's just doesn't last really, even if you clean it regular, regular, regular. <laughs> okay, you get what I'm trying to say. If you clean it often, it sort of doesn't really hold up to what it was when you first bought it, but the drugstore brushes pretty cool. So let's start off with, um, I got the Makeup Academy Professional Brush and this is for BBCC Cream number 14 and I love the ones, the brushes that have like the, it sort of fades from black to white. It just looks so soft and it is soft actually. Um, These are kind of large, which, I mean, I'm not sure they need to be this large. Like, I mean, is this so that, like, makeup artists, like, they can stay very far away from whoever they're putting makeup on? They're just like, stay back. I've got this long stick. Um, I don't know. We will see, though, when I use these, but this is cool. And then another one from Makeup Academy is the powder brush, which is this, very soft. This is less sturdy than the other ones. This moves a bit more, which I think is fine. Again, very large. And then the last one I got from Makeup Academy is the fan brush, which I'm very excited to try for highlighting. This is very soft too. I believe these are all synthetic brushes. So these are the ones I got from Makeup Academy. These are not as cheap as you would think for a drugstore. They were all over $10. One of them was even like $17. Um, so just be aware of that. But it is cool that you can just, you know, go down to CVS and get makeup brushes that are good. You don't always have to go all the way to Sephora or Ulta. So that's very cool. And then the Morphe brushes, I think you can only get them online unless you go to their main store in Burbank, which would take me a plane ride to get to. So, you know, sometimes I just don't feel like ordering online. I want to see them in person. So these are a great option if you really want brushes quickly, but you don't want to spend luxury amounts. And then my favorite, I got the e.l.f. brushes. These, of course, were a lot cheaper. I believe they were $2. One, two, or three dollars, somewhere along there. I got this angled brush, which is good for sneaking up, uh, contouring. It's very precise and very soft. This almost feels like felt. It's just so soft. And these, of course, are um, synthetic as well. Looks good. I always love that you can trust that e.l.f. will give you, um, I was going to say healthy brushes, but you know what I'm saying, uh, cruelty free brushes. Um, and they're very affordable, so yes, excited to try this and thinking I'll use it for either a cream based um, bronzer for contouring cheekbones or a powder bronzer, I'm not sure. And then I also got this little brush, which I'm forgetting what it said it was for in its packaging, but you could probably use it for, you know, cream foundations if you wanted to. It's very um, soft and flexible. Let's compare it to this one. It's similar, but this is a lot fluffier, and this is more sturdy. So, but look at like the handle difference. That's crazy. Elf likes to get up close and personal when they put on makeup, but Makeup Academy likes to stay far away, so 
guessing that's why they did that. Or maybe they just made it large because they just wanted to be cool and different, which is cool. Um, okay, what else did I get from the drugstore today? I got another beauty blender. This is actually from the brand 360 Beauty, I believe. Um, they sell them at CVS and I don't really know if there's much of a difference between getting this or getting something that's actually from Beauty Blender. I imagine that they're pretty much the same though. So it's always good to have more of these lying around and a different color. The one I have now is pink so it's cool to get purple. <laughs> Okay, I have been hearing so many people talk about this, the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer, and I really wanted to try this. Not only is this a gorgeous bottle, I love that um, ombre sort of fade. That fade look. It never finishes, I never finish my sentences, God. Okay, so this comes in a pump, which I love. And did I tell you this is in the shade Creamy Vanilla? So, okay. Um, this is... I imagine this is something that's going to save you a lot of time since you don't have to put on the concealer, which for me is I'm always looking for ways to save time because, I don't know, the more products I find and love, the more time it takes me to put on my makeup I just like, oh no, but I don't want to go morning without this thing because I love that. And you know, I feel like anyone who's ever been introduced to highlighters can't go like a single morning without saying, oh, but let me just put this on. It'll take a second. But all those little seconds adds up. But this hopefully will be really cool to try. So I'll let you guys know about that in one of my next videos. I also got the Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte hydrating foundation in the shade 5 warm porcelain and this sort of reminded me of um, a lightweight you know BB cream or a tinted moisturizer and I really just wanted something sort of an update to my past you know sheer foundations you know that's not what I meant Sorry, I'm out of breath because I left the dogs in and then, I don't know. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Last summer I got tinted moisturizers and sheer lightweight foundations. They're not foundations, I'm blanking on the word. They're just like sheer coverage things that are not supposed to be your typical foundation. They're supposed to be something you just put on on a day that you don't want to wear makeup but you still want like something almost it's almost like you treat it like a tinted moisturizer and so this just sort of seemed very much like that kind of thing but it's also a matte one so it's gonna give you a cooler finish than I think the ones from last year probably offered at least the ones that I had I had I had, you know what, I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna diss the other ones I had, but, um, okay, honestly, I just really like this packaging, and I like how it's called, like, Dream Velvet. That just seems like it's gonna be so soft, so soft, and then it's gonna give you a really nice modern finish, so... Why wouldn't I want to try this? I'm very excited too, and I'll let you know in one of my next videos. Lastly, I got a nail polish. I got the Nuance by Selma Hayek Nail Liqueur. And I got it in Petal Pearl, number 485. I really like um, sort of frosted pink colors. Anything that could very much be a sheer color an everyday color. I don't like dark colors on my nails because I hate when you're just like looking at your nails and then it's so dark and you're like you don't recognize your own nails and at first you think there's something on there. So I always just like the light ones instead. Anyway, I'm excited to try this. Of course it's not always about the color. 
for me, it's about not only how long it lasts, but the way that it lasts. Like, if it starts peeling off in huge sections, then I'm just like, oh, no, 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 I'm never using this again. But if it just gradually, like, fades, then that's a different story, and then I like it. So, but of course, the best nail polish is the one that lasts, like, more than a week, perfect, and the only reason you're even removing it is because you want a different color. That's the perfect one. Anyway, I hope you guys liked um, seeing my drugstore haul. I do love my luxury brands, but I also love my drugstore ones because it's important to just sort of take a break from all the <laughs> really nice brands and just remind yourself that, that there are really great affordable ones out there too. And it also just like, I don't know, it feels really good to get like new brushes so that you're not always using the same ones and you can see how much your look can change just by the way that you put it on whether it's with the brushes or with the, if it's with a beauty blender it's just always cool to see how different you can make things look um, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this and I will see you guys in my next video and did I say well I always mean it <laughs> thank you for watching